All new at five today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. You know, it's a time to remember the tragic events of the Holocaust and remember those who lost their lives at the hands of Nazi soldiers. Close to six million Jews across 22 countries were killed. So on this day, we want to honor the lives lost and share stories from survivors. Local 24 News morning anchor Kelsey Kearns is here with Jack Cohen's story of survival. When the, the war broke up and the Germans came in, uh, everything changed. He was just a child, nine years old, when German troops occupied his small town. Memphian Jack Cohen, originally from Greece, explains how his life changed forever when the Holocaust began. The Nazis controlled just about everything, imposing curfews and stealing food. The hardest started because the Germans were taking all the food for themselves. The terror was just only the beginning. They were picking up people either to interview or to uh, put them in jail. As a child, he witnessed physical truckloads of deceased Jews killed at the hands of soldiers drive by his window. It was hardly a day that we would not wake up to the sound of a machine gun killing people. Young Jack and his friends tried to make the most of a childhood tarnished so quickly. He tells me they used to play soccer with one of the guards until one day the guard took away their soccer ball. His friends got upset and began to yell at this guard. A detrimental mistake. And all of a sudden, we saw him taking the, the rifle off his shoulder. So we scattered. As I was turning the corner, on the street, he took a shot at me. Eventually, Jack and his family fled to a monastery bordered by mountains with no food and no money. So tell me your story. How did you survive? But my mother would pick up the mushroom and boil them and smash them. They lived off mushrooms and dandelions and lived off the land for two years. His father, fluent in seven languages, translated radio broadcasts to keep his family informed and away from danger. Sadly, his grandmother was not able to escape when Nazis approached yet again. And my grandmother, on my mother's side, was picked up by the Germans and they took them away. She was almost 80 years old, got very scared, God knows whatever happened to her. Jack Cohen doesn't want you to weep at his story, but rather absorb and understand the deep stain that murder, racism, and hate have left on the world. He believes we have the ability to overcome division, so something as atrocious as this never happens again. Kelsey Cairns, Local 24 News.